Users with Copilot licenses are creating agents on your SharePoint sites. Do you know where they all are? What about those agents that get abandoned, all those test agents? Well, there's a new report that will show you where all of those SharePoint agents are across your environment. I'm gonna cover it in this week's video. Let's get into it. So this new report is called the Agents Insights Report. It is part of SharePoint Advanced Management. Previously, it required a license to use SAM, but SAM is now included in all of your M365 Copilot licenses because of how much it helps you prepare for Copilot and govern after Copilot has rolled out. There's a lot of features in SAM. This is just one tiny morsel. More on this other SAM features later on in this video. First, let's just go into the SharePoint Admin Center and take a look at this thing. So you'll find this new report here in the Admin Center under Reports and then Agent Insights. You'll be able to create a report based off of different uh, different durations. So this is going to show you the agents that were created within this time period. Now, it's not a complete snapshot of all agents ever created. Take a note of that. This is just the recent ones. So this is something you will want to run at least on a monthly basis to understand where your users are creating uh, the, these agents. Now, this is based off of M365 audit data, so that's kind of how it's being uh, found, how those are being discovered behind the scenes. So the way it works is you'll add a, you'll, you'll give your report a name, and then you'll set the report duration. You could only have one of these reports for each of the different durations. So I already have a report that covers the 28 days this option here, last 28 days, which means if I start a new report that is 28 days, it'll replace this one. So keep that in mind as you're creating these. You can't, if you want to have a back catalog to show historical trending uh, data for this, you want to make sure to download this report. Let's open this thing up and actually see what it looks like. So in here, you'll see, let me zoom out a little bit. You'll see the eight, the the sites that have agents. You'll, you, there's a, a link to go to the URL for them. Any sensitivity labels applied. The t the template of the site, team site, communication site, whichever. The, who the owner is, how many agents were created on there. So in the last 28 days, four agents were created on my my root site, and two were created on. I'm sorry, the, the Contoso site, a hub site. And then uh, two agents were created on the root site. You'll see if there's restricted, if there's rack, a rack policy, another feature of SharePoint Advanced Management, or if there's restricted content discovery, another SAM feature. Again, more on that in a little bit. Now, this report should be a core part of your governance process in SharePoint and in M365 in general. It's just as important as protecting your data, which brings us to this video sponsor. Today, many organizations rely on Microsoft 365 for everything from email, collaboration, conferencing, and calendars to documents, internal communications, yet this critical data can be lost as easily as it's created. Threats like cyber attacks, retention gaps, or even a simple delete click can leave data inaccessible and cause costly downtime. Nakivo Backup and Replication seamlessly bridges this gap to ensure your Microsoft 365 data and Exchange Online, OneDrive for Business, SharePoint Online, and Microsoft Teams is backed up and easily recoverable. You can send Microsoft 365 backups and backup copies anywhere. Local folders, cloud platforms, NFS and SMB shares, tape media, and duplication appliances. The solution offers advanced ransomware protection features that include backup encryption and immutability. Microsoft 365 data loss does not need to happen. With Nakivo backup and replication, you can ensure maximum protection of Microsoft 365 data. Make sure to check out Nakivo in the link in the description below for a free 15-day trial. Now we can download this report right here and we'll get a CSV file. So from there, you can uh, do what do have process this however you want. You could process it with Power Automate or you can ingest this into Power BI, however you want to track this. 
and governance for, uh, on these uh, these agents is incredibly important because SharePoint agents are really easy to build. All of your all of your users can make these, and they're probably going to. All they need is read write access to a SharePoint document library. That's it. If they have that, they can start to build out their agents, which is a good thing. It's a really, really good thing. But for your uh, governance, you need to be able to understand where these things are at, what they're doing with them, if they're abandoned, things like that. This is just the first step of that governance process. Now, from this report, we can click on a site and we can apply restricted site access to lock the site down. We could also click on restricted uh, content discovery to apply, R to apply RCD to the site. Again, you definitely want to read about what these features do before you turn them on because they will have a very big impact. And for the more advanced users, you can also script these reports out with PowerShell and you'll even have more options than you do through the UI. Now, if you've made it this far, drop an emoji down in the comments just to let me know you're here. And to understand more about these SAM features, because again, this is a drop in the bucket of what SAM can do for you, then click or tap the screen to see all the th features that SAM has, and I'll see you over there.